Hey everybody, it's Jerry from Bullshit Corner. Welcome to today's video. And this is going to be the first of a series of a project I started a couple years ago. I should have got my ass together and got it fucking done. But I had some other things get in the way and I never got around to it. It was rebuild my 2001 SeaDoo XP 1000cc engine. The engine originally had blown, uh, what's the problem with these 1000 cc do two-stroke engines is that there's your crankshaft and then a counterbalance shaft. And what happens is that the bearings on the counterbalance shaft wear out, and when those bearings wear out, it takes out your whole fucking crankcase and the whole bottom end goes, but your top end's good, but uh, you can find cylinders and pistons and that for cheap, but trying to find a fucking bottom end that's good is impossible, so... In this video, a couple years ago, I had ordered an engine off eBay and the guy shipped it to me, but the fucking retard didn't put nothing in the holes, it didn't have no spark plugs in it, so the engine's full of crap. So I'm basically left at a point where I couldn't install it, so I just put it away. And now it's mid-April and now we're going to start stripping the engine down, inspecting it, and then fucking rebuild it. So let's go switch cameras and we'll go have a look at the engine. I'll show you what I mean. So this is the engine how it came to me. Like here's your where your carburetor would mount and your reed valves are in there and it's all full of shit. My exhaust is full of shit. And all the hoses are cut off and like nothing was plugged, like the spark plugs, like there's shit in the fucking cylinders. So we're gonna start ripping our part. But this video is gonna be more with the um, bottom end inspection. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna get rid of all these little lines and shit first. And once I peel all those off, we are going to get right into it and start dismantling the bottom half. So the first thing we're going to do is remove the starter. So if you need to remove a starter from a 951 or 1000cc SeaDoo engine, you just remove these two bolts and the starter is just going to pull out. Now we've got two bolts removed. And it's being a little stubborn, so I'm going to have to get a rubber mallet, give it a little tap. Alright, for some reason the starter seems a little stuck in there. I'm not going to force it too much in case there's something else I need to do. So what we're going to do now is that your carburetor mounts here and your reed valves are inside. And these little oil lines, I don't want to damage them. So I'm going to remove these all at once, pull the reed valves out. And then we're going to remove this side section because your oil injector is right there. And then we're going to remove the side cover because that's where your flywheel and everything else for your starter is going to be in there. So we're going to remove that, hopefully get that starter out, take the rear part off and get the case ready to start splitting. Alright, so I knocked these loose. You can see all the shit inside there. I would have fucking destroyed the engine if I even would have considered putting that in. So now this is loose as well. And then we're just going to pull that off the side. I'll show you the inside in just a second. Alright, so we got the cover off, and here's your stator here, and your oil pump is actually right behind in there, and it's got this little plastic, little gears, and that goes on your nut off your crankshaft, and the faster your engine spins, the faster that pump's going to spin, and it pumps oil through these lines and injects it into the engine. So now we're going to remove these two parts, and then your starter's back there, and we're going to figure out why the fuck the starter's not coming out. Alright, so we got the starter out. I'll get some better light here and you can see right there those O-rings. You can see it's heavily corroded. And it was stuck in there. This was a salt water engine. It's fucking... Salt water has done its time on the aluminum. So we're going to do a separate video on testing the starter and the stator. I'm just going to start putting everything in a box. And now we're going to pull this flywheel off. And how that's going to work is that we pull these small bolts out the middle and then this piece actually just spins out and then we're gonna have to take that nut off and then put a puller on there then pull the main gear off okay never mind it doesn't screw on once I put a punch in the flywheel there and gave it a twist turner off she just popped off so now we're gonna remove that nut and then we're gonna pull that gear off and then go work on the opposite side 
Well, 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 looks like Team Mechanics isn't fucking pulling its own weight as I'm trying to get this gear off. And I'm fucking pulling it right through. I'm going to have to probably split the block. And once I have the block split, I can get a larger puller on there and pull it off that way. Because I need like a medium-sized puller. There's too much of an angle here. It's less than 30 degrees, so my pull's not, my, not going to have the torque to pull it. So if I had a different puller, it would work great. I uh, might have one hidden in my garage, but fuck it, I'm going to reverse it and uh, continue on. Alright, so now we're going to start pulling this off. And to keep your engine from spinning, jam something in the flywheel there. We're going to get a wrench, break those off, get that section off. This section is actually different from mine because mine has a coupler, so I'm going to have to swap that thing with this one because mine's set up differently this is uh some old parts from the old engine so let's rip that back piece off all right so once you remove this piece once you get all the bolts off you just give it a light tap and it comes off and then we're going to remove the bolt in there and pull that piece out and then get that get this off it must be uh vibration dampener or something i'm going to assume but we're going to yank it off anyways. Alright, I got the puller on there. We're going to... This should come off fairly easy. Hopefully, we'll find out. Okay, maybe it doesn't want to come off easy. Alright, I sprayed it with PB Blaster. And I'm gonna use a gear type puller this style, so we're gonna see if we can get it off. Fuck me, what's fucking holding it in? I'm gonna get a pair of gloves. Alright, so we got this fucking thing out. And they normally don't come out that hard. All it is is a compression fit. It's a tapered shaft right there, so it should just come off pretty easy, but being a saltwater thing, I had fucking a pulley on there. Then what I had compression on there, I had tension on there. And I took a pry bar between the wheel and the side of the block and I jab it in there, give it a little turn and spin the engine a little bit, do it like that, work it around. That managed to pop it out. So that part's done. So I think I'm gonna leave the video at this for right now and then do some more on it tomorrow. That reed valve's kind of stuck. Let's see if I can get it at the corner there without wrecking it. Just really. All right, so there we go. Have a look inside. Got some shit dropped in there, but we're taking this apart anyways because I'm gonna put all new seals in it, in the crank and everything else. So the next project is gonna be. I'm going to see if I can get a gear puller tomorrow, a medium sized one, so I can pull that out. And then uh, we're going to go about split the bottom half of the crank apart and spec the counterbalance shaft, which is right here, and then your crank shaft's in the middle, and then go from there. Moving forward with the CDU project, there's going to be a whole bunch of small videos detailing a bunch of shit that people want to know. Um, some of these videos coming forward out of this aren't going to be like my usual style of video. I want to get the c -Do project done from start to finish, rebuilding the engine, hopefully give as much understanding as people can with it, and hopefully doing some other fucking around with it as well. I was in a rush to fucking pack my pipe that I didn't pack it right. Here we go. That's what I call smoke show. Drinking some fucking shitty beer. So with that being a salt engine, or with that being a salt water engine, we've already come to some other fucking problems. Fuck off, phone. I'll deal with you later. So I'm hoping to have the crankcase split apart tomorrow. Uh, inspect it. Hopefully put new gaskets and shit in. Put it back together. 
and then start removing the top half of the cylinder and then moving forward with that so hopefully everything's going to turn out all right we'll find out though but i'm going to leave this part of one of many series and redoing the sea engine redoing the engine putting it back together setting up the carburetor fucking testing see if it's going to fail or not if it fails it fails if it works it works this is the whole process of fucking doing it yourself and learning learn from your mistakes this is my first time rebuilding the sea uh 1000 cc engine so it's going to be a learning experience for me as well so if you have any other questions comments post them below otherwise thanks for watching